Mr. Charles. Thank you. Dear Chamblers and honorable members of this committee, my name is Matthew Charles. I was sentenced to federal prison for 35 years for nonviolent offenses. I served 22 years before becoming the first beneficiary of the First Step Act signed by President Donald Trump in 2018. I was honored to attend the State of the Union as his guest in 2019. Since then, I've traveled the country speaking with state and federal lawmakers about my experience and the need for prison and sentence reform. I testify on behalf of FAM, a nonpartisan, nonprofit organization that advocates sentencing and prison policies that are individualized, fair, protect public safety, and preserve families. We thank this committee for its leadership in passing SB 322 in response to the horrific experiences of Alabama families. We thank Governor Ivey for signing it. This new law creates 15 new positions, as Chair Chamblis stated earlier. It also standardizes inquiry forms, and they have to respond. And it gives this committee a staff person to help this committee uh, with prison oversight. We ask that this committee continue to monitor these things closely so that they will be implemented and that every prong is met. SB 322 would not have prevented many of the deaths and horror stories that we hear today. However, it is a step in a series of steps that are necessary and not a resting point. I, we have two recommendations. One, that the committee use the new staffer and corrections liaison to create new correctional line staff, to create ways for correctional line staff and incarcerated people to communicate with you directly. You can hold a series of closed door listening sessions one for families, correctional line staff, incarcerated people, formerly incarcerated people, advocacy groups, and stakeholders, such as Bureau of Prisons, Colette Peters did on a federal level. Second, you can hold a study session on independent prison oversight, and we will be happy to facilitate that expert testimony on how this could be scaled and managed here in Alabama. Alabama is right for independent prison oversight, and we think should look to the federal legislation act as a model. We appreciate you for considering our views. Thank you, Mr. Charles. Uh, Representative England. You said independent oversight. What do you mean by that? Uh, in other words, independent oversight is actually a whatever, like the Federal Bureau of Prisons. In other words, it is somebody outside of the Federal Bureau of Prisons that we're looking, that we'll be looking in on what is taking place in the Federal Bureau of Prisons or in the state of Alabama, because oftentimes when you have an agency monitoring and checking itself, it don't truly check itself. So that's the reason we believe in independent outside people looking at the situation that are not tied to for any reason uh, that whatever. It is that they're monitoring. Thank you. Yes, and I, uh, in your packet is the information that Mr. Charles submitted. Thank you, Mr. Charles. Thanks, Chair Tamlis.